So there's a there's a thread on. Uh, this is not a flex, by the way. It really isn't. Okay, because it would be stupid. It wouldn't make any sense. Because someone will Ale will say it is, and it's not. Um, so there's a thread on <laughs> on um, on Reddit. There we go. That's where the threads are on Reddit. And um, you know where you go to your badges, and you can see how much money you spent in Counter Strike. Um, one guy, I think the guy who posted it had spent nine dollars on Counter Strike or something. So I looked at mine and it was eight thousand six hundred and thirteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? I thought it was more. To be honest. I thought it was more. I'm kind of surprised. But thought, there we go. I thought you were pushing forty k. Forty k. No, outside of outside of Steam, um, I've definitely made it over ten. Not plus ten, but over ten. Oh, I bought, because I, I thought you were at twenty k in twenty sixteen. There was because <laughs> there was like a a Dragon Law. There's a few thousand more. But does that does that count because of the stuff that you've sold? I don't like know. Because if that's taking away, no. Because I think like if you like if you sell something, for example, I sold my Karambit Tiger Tooth and some other thing I had, and then I bought, um, I bought my Karambit Fade, which was five hundred pounds. So I guess that would it could be considered the spend, but it wouldn't consider. Because you, that I did, I did, got, I get, I got money back before I spent that money. You but know? you sold enough skins for like a Rolex. Um. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, it was this, it was this, it was this Tudor which I bought. This was, I, I sold my Dragon Law and my Howl. I sold my Howl for eleven hundred. I sold my Dragon Law for two thousand. And that more or less paid for this, this one. But no, Rolex money is, is more than that. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, but you know, that's that's interesting. But it's yeah, it's hard to say. I don't know how much. Um, I don't know. Because like, if you if if I unbox a knife, like if I unbox an end mine bayonet fade, and then oh. I sell that, and I use that money to buy something, I guess that counts as money spent. But not necessarily. I didn't put that necess necessarily put that money in the bed to begin with, right? But like two pounds in it for that. So it's not. Clear how much came of it, how much of it came out of my pocket, but I think it's safe to assume that most of it did. <laughs> but there we go. So I put that screenshots on Twitter so you can enjoy that. I want to find out how much I've spent. I don't know if you could do it on the phone, but you have to go to uh, your badges and then go to CSGO and it says, How can I earn card drops? and you click on that and then it will show you how much you spent in the game. Uh oh, let's see if it can do it on the phone. Well, let us know. Fnatic are going to start on the T side of Mirage. Will there be P250s? There's nothing but long ranges to be had here. And there'll be no P250s, but that's fine. They have a plan, Fnatic. They have two smokes, they have two flashes. They can close the distance with those flashes, and then the P250s will be less necessary. Versus Pro, basically with an eco strat, three players in the window on the CT side. They have nothing but Kevlar and USPs. So, what is their intentions once they see that they have been smoked out of the A bomb site, save for PHR? As the only man in CT, does he fight to the death? Surely he realizes there must be intention. What? What? Was he jumping when he did that? Crims gets taken out and a bit of slow push from Fnatic. Trying to plant the bomber, I think. With nobody taking CT. That was an unusual one. They smoked jungle. Uh, they smoked the stairs. They smoked jungle, collect the stairs. They left CT open. They didn't push CT. Oh, no. Ooh. Look at this. That's <laughs> absolutely BS right there. That's some premium... A grade BS. That, How does that I'd, make sense? I'd rather. What's a recoil <laughs> valve? You hey, do it with an AWP, apparently. Most of the time it won't, but sometimes it will. It should never go directly with the crosshair. Is that's so weird? I don't understand. It's it, it, you know you're talking about the the weirdness with the, the smokes and stuff and CT reminds me of this game Mirage I played yesterday yesterday in Solo Queue. I was, I was like, all right guys, let's let's go A on the piss around. I've got a smoke and a, I'll smoke jungle. And we're going to go and take CT and part triple. Then we get to the site and someone smoked CT and jungle smoked. And then everyone's, we're all trapped. We're all trapped on the site with no position and everyone gets wrecked and the bomb doesn't go down. Fun. That sounds fun. It was really, really fun. I disconnected, not in the game, but in my brain from the game at that point. <laughs> just like, I'm not here. I'm no longer here. Things are just happening. I'm no longer present. I thought you were always like that, then. No. <laughs> Yesterday was quite something. But anyway. 
Slatchy's on the AWP early. He will be smoked off. There's a big gap in the window, but I did think that might happen. So Varian being experienced at the beginning of the round in mid, and it will continue on the A bomb site. Down to a two versus two. Crims will collect the bomb, and they'll make their way in, it seems. Mihu creeping, looking towards Palace. Not sure if he saw anybody there just yet. Maybe a question mark on the radar. Molly, but they've gone past already. Gets the one versus one. Standing in the Molly is golden as he moves forward into a potential double peak. He doesn't know where Smax is. He's actually in T-spawn, making his way for the flank. But Northern may have a chance to plant the bomb here. Yes, that's already a big win. They've got three kills in the damage. It's so unlikely that he checks T-spawn. But maybe with all this time pass and the repositioning to default, he's going to have coverage of this position. And here it comes in. And they may expect him at triple still. That gives him a drop on Snacks. That's a great flick shot. And Mihu is one bullet from death. Golden's not too far from it himself. And they, and Mihu knows exactly where he is. And Golden's nailed it. That's fantastic. What a clutch. That's a big one as well. And that's what a round to win. It's very fanatic, isn't it? Let's just push everything at once. Very much so. But again, Snatchy, like you see that gap in the smoke. You've got to think that the T's can see that gap as well. So there, there's so much risk to peek that. I mean, it's one thing if you peek somebody who might be on catwalk, but if you're peeking all the way towards top mid, I feel like more than 50% of the time, someone's going to be shooting at your head. So there we go. Versus Pro have lost a lot with that round. And they are enforced by territory. And AWP on Mihu in the short position. Definitely not going to see his uh, favorite phase in this round. Pasha is actually commentating this match with uh, Izaku on his stream, by the way. Oh, cool. So if you are fluent in uh, Pasha, I don't think the London school is open today, but I mean, fluent in Polish, not fluent in Pasha. Although maybe that's a, that should be language in itself at this point. That's a good pick from Flusher. Catches PHR going aggressive. VP perhaps stewing in their own desperation, feel as though they need to make pushes happen, but then it all collapses. Did Mihu shoot a shot? He's okay, he shot one shot, it looks like. Well they know that he's got an orb, they know where he is. And they're sending they're sending the docks. Oh he's got the uh this is actually the most accurate skin in the game for the AWP in terms of what it's normally wrapped in. Minus the the chain link mesh, if you will. But when we find one um, at Accuracy International, it had that kind of safari camo on it. Wouldn't it depend on where you're at in the world of the war? You were at the place where they make the guns, I think that's enough. But if you're let's in not, the, Let's not get too nitpicky. Going to the desert, it's going to be more desert camo, right? If you go into the jungle, it's going to be a little greener. I think we should send you to the jungle space. <laughs> to do some research. There you go. Send you where all the spiders are. <laughs> I don't mind spiders, to be honest. I let them live. They kill all the... Well, they let you live, though, in the jungle. <laughs> Spartan is actually pretty passive. So we're just scared of him. Well, versus pros, money has been annihilated. I'm a big fan of spiders. I had a spider above my shell. I just left it there. I'll say hello to him. <laughs> Did you hurt. name him? No. We have a mutual understanding of humans and spiders. They're called insects. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> oh god. I've been seeing him do this a lot on Antonico. Flusher would just have a pistol. Mm. P250 or in this case a Glock. This this was something that people used to do a long time ago. 1.6. I remember I used, to, I used to do this as well. It was pretty common. I don't know why I stopped doing it. I actually forgot about it entirely. But it's, but it's just great to do research to a site. Maybe with the, with the increase in viable weapons. It fell out a little. Yeah. But he has he has been doing it recently. But it was more common a very long time ago, yeah, where you're just trying to identify is there a stack, especially if you know that they really can't afford to buy anything. You can pick up a P250. Zero Kriegs. What does it mean? That means a nerf's coming. They must know something. What do they <laughs> know? Yeah, I guess also, you know, if you can't, if you want full nades, but you can't afford a rifle, a good one, you're going to be stuck with it on the next round. Wow, okay, Veggie's just gonna murder everyone. Fanatic not ready for that. It's gonna require some interesting maneuvers to 
find a way back into this round. You can see Flusher needs to be activated here towards a ramp. Perhaps a bit faster than he wanted to, but they've got to get a kill. They've got to get some space. And the real estate will be denied effectively by Snatchy. And Crims also can't do too much about it. Again, just not enough players. They lost too many in mid to Veggie. Veggie. Vegemite. Is it veggie or veggie? I don't know. We say veggie. Veggie. So I think veggie would be two Gs, would it not? I don't know. Depends on the country. That's right. Depends on the language. You're thinking an English brain. <laughs> You've got to think of the Polish brain. Polish brain. <laughs> and I, 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 I can't do the... Like, like Gawabki is spelled Galabki, so I just, I don't know what's going on with that. It's delicious, by the way. Yes. Round number seven, and Mihu's made his way downstairs, but he will not be allowed back up the stairs. I'm going to the bedrooms or the kitchen. You can see two men on road for Fnatic sticking together in case there's a poke on a prod. Trade frags are open for business, although Snacks will still manage to take out Golden with no response. Sneaky shot from him, and Fnatic will quietly retreat from mid. Veggie will soon see that. No one is there. Just jiggling a little in the mid position and Snacks gets curious for information. Snacks notorious for some of his B plays on Mirage. That jump was a little awkward. I like the decision making there. You could see he wanted to molly through the kitchen to stop JW taking his position, but he would have been exposed for potential peak. So he decided to avert the variance and just fall back instead. You can see the, the thought process in his mind as he did that and it was pretty smart, pretty good to see. Now we've got big sound cues for Veggie, which will allow the rotation towards the A bomb site as the bomb's getting planted. Will there be a spray from Snatchy? He's exposed to Flusher by in front of the palace. And now it's a three on three. PHR though has taken position with Flusher getting taken out by Snack. So this is fastly developing on the A bomb site. The positioning for Fnatic is really good though. You can see that smoke and connector will soon go away. And Brolan's spot, I don't know if they know he's here, is super strong because he can just bait now or be the bait. Dude, that becomes out. Beautiful connection. He had very little time to get that kill, but he does. And that changes everything. Veggie now with two spots to look at. JW faces for a moment and Veggie knows exactly what Brolan is, but what can he do about it? He's signing his spray through the boxes now as well. And no peak required from Brolan. JW will finish it off through that box. Very well played. And Again, it's so weird, those positions, those post-plant positions, it's, but also very strong. Yeah, that's a very good post-plant setup. From Fnatic, just peeking. Uh, you had one person peeking from the ticket, and then JW would peek from stairs. It's confusing VP all over the place, and securing the round. Not as easy as you think it is. Drills in mid. Nail guns. We were on a set. We were on a set on the uh, the we a week in, on the weekend. I couldn't remember if it was this weekend or last weekend, but last weekend. And at some point there was a nail gun in use, and I was just uh, reminded me of the state gun and painkiller. I was just waiting for a start to happen, but there was none. There's a real. There's a, a nail gun in Quake One. Veggie and PH are now with the Deegs. It's actually the name of my AK is Super Nail Gun. That's a Quake 1 reference. Nice. It's all about the references with the name tags. Yeah, my M4 is Lightning Gun, I think. And my AWP is Railgun. Not very creative. But no, it, to it, my is, origins. it is creative, exactly. That's It doesn't need to be overly complicated. Simple is the best. And my Deagle's called just simply Juggernauts. What, Deadly Deagle King? No. Because with the Deagles run around, no one can stop me. All my um, Deagles are, almost all my Deagles are Juan Deag puns, apart from the Golden Koi, which is Golden Eye. Two round lead for Fnatic versus Pro again. This is their map pick. They're a map down. They are fighting for survival. They're just trying to sip the water without being victimized by 
the lion that is fanatic snatchy's good for one but he goes down again and it's a quick man advantage as veggie's eliminated by jw he moves forward towards connector facing his teammates inside of con as me who's looking for him as well it seems in the short position elevating as he often does on that b sign and down he goes he spots a player going towards ct as well it's flusher and phr can now visualize and eliminate three versus two jw looking for a flank that leaves brolan alone on the bomb site he's at the fire boxes but there's no fire to be thrown by the likes of versus pro a smoke in the middle to maybe isolate the trade track situation there's brolan by default phr taken out he can jump on and get a one way now with this smoke grenade JW will take Mihu out, leaving Snacks in a one versus two to try and hold on to the AWB. Hiding in plain sight as JW runs away. <laughs> it, is a, it is a blind spot there. And just stare at the floor and survive. Wait, HP. JW runs past <laughs> again. Oh <my laughs> God. If you don't have 69, you won't you won't see the guy there. It's um it's amazing. You know, both it's both Brolan and JW again in that A. Bomb site post plant and playing it to perfection. They're too good, man. They're too good. Seems like VP's falling apart once they get to that bomb site. Even though they outnumber Fnatic, is that their peaking's a little off? They're not peaking together, or at least at the same time to where Fnatic has to look at two different spots at the same time. I guess that is the goal if you want to retake a bomb site. Uh, put the T's in uncomfortable spots where they have to aim at two spots at once is is the goal, I guess. Yeah. And you can't aim at two spots at once. It's impossible. You can't. You got to group up more, I think, on their CT retakes VP. Because a lot of times we see one in spawn, we see one in the connector area, and it's just hard to... That cheese really struggled to get going uh, in this game so far. He's in this map, rather. He his plays have been really brittle. Maybe one and done, or none and done with the very aggressive peaks that we've talked spoken about. Snack standing in the fire by the bench, trying to get another advantage for his team. Snatchy now hiding in the fire boxes with the USP. He saw Golden jumping, but will Golden expect? No, he's not gonna go for it. There's a knife kill. The AK is out immediately. He takes two Snatchy and gets his AWP money. That's nice work. Two versus two. Veggie tags a leg of Flusher who smartly jumps out of Palace. AWP on Veggie now. It's a problem. Double peak towards Connector. Fnatic. Very aware that there's so much synergy on this team, but can they finish off the job up on the box? Veggie, has he been spotted just yet? Not sure that he has. Does he up? He does. There's a trade fragger. There's the cover. Flusher now with 17 HP. Legged earlier by Veggie, I do believe, with the AWP. Veggie creeping. Got to keep his warp in a straight line. Not to concede his position too early. And Flusher, of course, has slipped away like the Batman. It's a 10 second defuse. He's gone deep to see more of Flusher, who <laughs> has seen enough. And off he goes. This is hard work. There's a grenade as well. Ooh. He's 17 HP, jump peeking, and still managing to avoid all the bullets. He's invincible, I'm starting to believe, Flusher. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. You, thought, you, you feel like it's usually that Flusher is the guy that knows what the other guy's doing before the other guy realizes. He's so funny if he gets the kill. But, but this side is like, oh, maybe Hoji actually has the one up on Flusher. But no, <laughs> still, still Flush manages to get away with it. Get away with bloody murder. And 7-3 to three will be the scoreline now for, in favor of Fnatic. They are looking dominant. And there's just this quality. I mean, there is a great synergy. I think, as you say, James, that double peak into Connector with the elevated elevation of stairs and, and so on was, was it's just so, so awesome that they have the level of communication that they can just yeah. go boom and just do it straight so away. So late in the run, especially with how young Poland is as well. It seems like he's fit in like a glove. But a great experience for him, I'm sure. PHR is the one to get taken out in the window now. But again, just the cheap peaks. The window has just been a huge problem for Versus Pro. There's barely any point in smoking it for Fnatic to get so many free kills from it. Wiping out VP in that connector position. But it's still a two versus three. Snacks has been patient, and Brolan's given him an opportunity to take this one back. Fnatic sticker looks great on that. The wildfire. Oh. Chance here somehow. Doesn't feel like there was, but it's a 2v2. 
See if they can find a way in. It's Flusher and Crims this time. Always seems like Flusher is causing problems. Mihu, not the only one to stand. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh no. And at that moment, the game was lost. <laughs> PP not, not looking really. too good here. Yeah, it's look. It looks like some. It looks like a mess. Yeah. Like in the window, they just. I think it was PHI just threw, you know, bounced a, a flash out the window to peek after it. Just got wrecked immediately. Yeah, they weren't it's even like pop very pop plays that we're seeing, which is not unlike them. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a, there's like multiple ways to pop flash from the window, and and those are like extremely telegraphed flashes. So that looked really, really. Yeah, get a flash from your teammate from A is is what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, because that can go deep for top mid. Yeah, or and if they don't have position to do it, then don't peek. Yeah, yeah. Like they're trying to force the peek and... Um... Getting punished. Yeah. Well, we've got a very fast four versus four. A minute 20 on the clock. Flusher moving away from the palace position. And JW's got the off angle in the window left of the boxes from his perspective. Fed you seen the bomb. Slowly backing away. Ah, that smoke from underpass you don't see too often. That's it, really pulling out some vintage plays. Ooh, the underpass smoke to move into a B play. That's right, very interesting. The molly in the window so they can't be peaked. However, Snacks is on default and he could get two if he's patient enough, but look at the position of Roland. Oh, he jumps, and that's going to be an issue. Can't track if you're jumping. Stax has done a great job. Said he might get two. He has done, and now he can just buy time for his team. He can just stand there. GW, one versus four. Won't get much done, and there's a fourth round in here. Four versus pro. Doesn't look... They don't look like... Look how spread out their rounds are. Not finding much in terms of success on their CT side versus pro. It's looked really bad. Mm-hmm. Outside of the pistol, just two wins in the full by round, full by rounds, and Fnatic it feels like there's so many different gears that they have that they can use against Virtus Pro to success, and they'll go really quickly towards the top mid. And again, it's just a favorable situation as we saw typically for Fnatic if they if they immediately get a four before. Like it's just it's just very powerful for Fnatic. Virgil's going to make his way through, but it's very obvious what he's doing. Me, who wants to get aggressive as well, but he is going to get caught out in the open, can't escape in time, leaving just snacks by connector to look after all of middle, and eventually he'll have to give this one up, most likely. And again, four versus three for Fnatic. This is where they're strong. They try to engineer situations in which they can get these very quick exchange of kills. And then they have all this space around the map to out-game out their opponent. Should I be looking for the B apartments push, of which there is none? Which is really important to know that, because if you don't know that, then it might be the case that you're going to walk into a stacked bomb site. What does JW offer? He has a smoke. You can smoke the window. Oh, it's going to fall away. 45 seconds, Brolan walking towards a ramp. snatchy has got a forward position, as you can see. He has cover for PHR, so he can hold inside of the stairs and look towards Palace. And here come all the clues. Two smokes heard, there's a shadow. I'm not sure if Snatchy was seen there, but there's nowhere for else for Fnatic to go. They've got to make this play. There's a pop flash, but it doesn't go deep enough, or too deep rather. There's PHR moving to Sandwich. Snatchy knows there's one more. We've got a late alert from Grimms, but Snatchy will fall. There's a trade from Snacks. 10 seconds. Two plays to deal with. The bomb's not going to get planted in this round. Crims going for elimination. It was close to PHR, but not quite. And Virtus Pro have a chance for a late comeback. They've broken the money for Fnatic. Oh, so word for PHR in that situation. He was top of the stairs. And VP didn't really have an idea exactly where Fnatic was. I mean, we saw Snatchy pushed up an A ramp, but PXR, or, uh, PHR is trying to like pivot from watching Khan and Top Palace. And... It was so close that Flush could have timed him. Could have been a different round, so. Hero by Flusha. 
Yeah, he had almost 4,000, but the rest of his teammates were around 2k, so he gets that Krieg by, and they'll have some pistols to support him. They didn't want to force two rounds in a row and potentially give VP an easy 7 to 8 finish at the first half, end of the first half. This is a really, really important round, you know, for VP to make sure that they are stable because even though they've been getting crushed, they could almost tie the score of Fnatic at the end of the first half, which would be an incredible result if you look at the domination that they've been on the receiving end of. The Fnatic aren't able yet to find that first kill that they need to start snowballing the situation. Oh, see Daisy, that was a sound cue that was not supposed to happen. Now me who's gonna have the awareness that there was a boost attempt. HG grenade. Still alive. JW one of the few with Kevlar. Taken out now in mid. Mihu is curious. No. There's no pop flash for him. He won't go too deep, just holding the angle. Able to fall off, but maybe outstaying his welcome. Snacks trying to create some space for himself. Obscures the angle from the window. He solved preservation, but that won't work for PHR. Flusher and Golden will fall just as quick as I say their names. And VP make it to six. Give me heartburn right there. I'm at 20 seconds left in the match, or in the round, and you're taking that direct peek from Van. Not hot peeping, um, hot, hot peeking it, but just hopping on top of the Van, exposing yourself and almost costing the round for VP. It's scary stuff. Like 20 seconds left, you don't have to really um, put yourself in that bad of an angle or position. You don't need to do this. You don't need to. Last round of the first half. And things are suddenly looking a lot better for Versus Pro. It has been difficult on their CT side, but again, they've got three rounds in a row. After a drought, they've gone from the troughs to the peaks. Nice walk, so. and there it is. That's the classic Snatchy stuff. He's very confident in these positions. As you say, he's been struggling to get going, but uh, very well done by Brolan, applying that pressure. Not giving a clean shot to Snatchy. PHR, though, with a multiple, multiple scenarios of clean shots will give him a couple, evening up the numbers game in terms of this round. Fnatic will still get a plant, 2v2. They've been really good in these situations. So much dink. Like so many dinks through the crates there, and Veggie with a nice double to finish things off. And somehow, some way, Virtus Pro claw their, themselves into a 7 to 8 scoreline at the end of the first half. That's very promising going into the second half, but is their T side going to be uh, or better? Will it do the damage that they need? We'll find out very shortly. Stay with us. Start your path to pro. Begin your matchmaking experience with like-minded players. Climb the ranks, meet your teammates, and make it all the way to the top. Rise through the ranks to the FPL circuits and play alongside the best players in the world. And who knows, you might just be the next Saiwu. Begin your road to pro at faceit.com. Cool. 
it, right? Want to know where I got it? Uh -huh. Well, look, go to cs.money. It's a trade platform and a marketplace at the same time. Just choose, click, and get. Good luck, bro. We're Welcome back. back. We're back. But, oh, a little bit of checking this there, but it's fine. But it's pro attacking the A bomb sites. They need to make this work. Fnatic are a scary, scary team, and they crushed Virtus Pro on overpass. If you need a good start, they need that momentum. And they got Brahman Bra trying to drill them with that USP as a ticket. And now JW's lending hand as well. Oh my goodness, this is not looking good for VP right now. They need to get the bomb down, but they don't really have the cover to do it. And they're going to have to try to take aggressive fights to get that cover. And they are denied. They get swarmed. That's not good. Sax has a molly. But what is he going to use it for? Self-immolation. <laughs> it's maybe the only thing that he could use it for, and that's the round for Fnatic. And the A tank gets shut down, just like last half, actually. Pretty similar pistols. Yes. But, you know, Snatchy just pushing the smoke, why not? <laughs> and a couple CTs. Nice shot Ooh. by Brown. Though. What was that? It's a, that's a nice little stack. I, I think I saw again. Twist do it once before. Well, flu sha, flu flu on the MP5, and everybody else on guns that are more typically used, most people would choose the MP7 over the MP5. Although the MP5 is a silencer and it's new. Still, I guess. Oh, JW's going to line up. Trying to take it easy here, using the nade. Oh, it's absolutely nailed this one, is not he? Look, actually dies. But he knows not to prolong the rounds. 10-7. Fnatic with the ability to take a lot of agency on the CT side. They've got a bonus buy effectively. They've got all the SMGs left over still. They actually do discard the MP5. The MP9 is better and cheaper. And I wonder what kinds of aggressions we're going to see. We've got two MP9s on the CT side of a Mirage. There's got to be some aggro plays. JW gets a lot of info there with those peaks. And VP void the position immediately. What's this smoke for? What's that smoke for? We will... Uh, I don't think I've seen that one before. Oh, oh. Sleggy knows. That is sick. Actually, I didn't know about that one. He knows, but he pretends he doesn't know. Pretends... <laughs> otherwise. You don't need nades, James. You don't need nades, Dan. Because you don't know when to throw them. You just throw them because you know them. Here's the MP9. Globules on the side of it. Oh, core of a grenade in his hand. What a perfect time for Brian to peek. And the bait, he runs away and they go straight into Flusher. But Flusher, surely he should have got two. Only gets one. However, Mihu is alone. Some pre fire from the ramp. Buying time for rotation. I gotta say, regardless of um, only getting one kill there and so on, like, Fnatic are playing so sick. Just the two man setups. Especially Brolan and, and and anybody, there are so many little things which are, are working really, really well for Fnatic that was really playing as a team. And it's fantastic to see me he will do some extra damage, but Fnatic will string another round together. Three in a row now. Yeah, it's looking great for the Swedes. Swedes from Sweetland. Sweetland. Swedish and fish. Apparently that's not even a thing over there. Fish? No, it's, it's a, a it's a sweet candy. 
Oh. Cool Swedish fish. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. We've got five deagles. The bird is pro. And we would have jump in MP9. Why would you ever get rid of it? It's extremely good. Almost like you're saying it needs an error. It's okay for it to be good. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with it being good? Why can't it be good? Everyone's too sensitive in 2019. $1,200. Can be people to just chill out? What? It's $1,200. Isn't it 1050? No. 1200. Yes. Oh, it's a Mac 10 1050. <laughs> I've got to be so careful with that. I don't even look at how much it is. I just, you know, just. Yeah, see, it, it's I've so. I've got all that money from winning so many rounds, you know? Yeah, Apart it, from yesterday, of course. The amount of money it costs to buy it is so insufficient, you don't even know how much it is. Cause it... In an FPS game, the rate of fire is king. For the most part. What's the rate of fire on an AWP? It's not that high, but it's a sniper. That's its own category. Snatchy and Miki remain with the Desert Eagles. The Desert Eagles no skin, he must be happy. <laughs> New account, he must be cheating. Yeah, no gloves, no knife. Desert Eagle skin with no skin. Desert Eagle uh, with no skin, sorry. He's hacking. File the report. No need to watch the demo. MP9 is so good, James. He will, he will continue to use it. Ample money on the team. <coughs> Wants to. Well, I love it. I mean, if you're playing close, yeah, you know, it has utility depending on your position. If you're playing close ramp, for example, um, on A, it's a great weapon. If you're playing, I, I use it close mid on cash to prioritize grenades. The use of the MP9 is a great lesson in uh, the prioritization of utility from a CT side. Well then, versus Pro, they're five rounds behind, and then one map down. We got some spray from Golden, trying to avoid a response, if you will. So at least one player will show some presence. That in itself is normal. But will they expect five? Yeah, Golden's really trying to bait them to push as well, like spending all those bullets. He's got Flusher right below the window as well. He's actually now spamming also the market. So it seems as though Fnatic with that deep control of the middle, they have the information that this is the intention of Virtus Pro. And they've got everybody in position. BP just still sitting in the B apartments. Now they'll finally trigger the push, but how quick will the rotation come? Do we have any defensive smokes? And just yet from Fnatic, they're going to allow them to go onto the bomb side. But look at the lineup for Golden. He's been set up very effectively. Flusher unable to get his kill, but there's still, again, a rotation coming in. JW's there, he's ready. VP just hung out in the B apartments, and it was just so telegraphed. Fnatic took mid immediately. Map control by Fnatic again, and it continues on this map as well. You saw VP just uh, right there trying to take the bomb side with, with about 40 seconds left, but... We have JW on catwalk, he doesn't see anything. We have Krims over-rotating the B. Earlier aggression, so BP is getting outclassed in almost every way. Yeah, it's a fair point. Fnatic are really, really strong. I think I appreciate their point about the synergy. It's so satisfying to see the synergy they have. Click will be missed, but look at this. Out comes Flusher from the catwalk position. It's a bait and switch. Fnatic have control of middle effectively. They can still have JW confident enough to be just sitting here in the window. Of course, he's got that smoke to play with. Now it's gone though, but he's still here waiting for the peak. And he looks to punish it. And Flusher will take down Snacks in the meantime. And VP have middle, but look at the cost. They've lost three players in middle. Bomb needs to be collected by one of the remaining two. Unless they go for elimination, there's no flank, so. That is possible, but Snatchy will go to collect, I presume. Veggie has waited for the smoke to go on ramp, and it's gone. He backs off a little bit, looking for a peek from the stairs at the moment. And they will go to join each other, it seems. Or Snatchy will go and join Veggie. He was heading towards T-spawn for a brief time, but... The focus will be on A. That's the agreement. We have angles being held. There's a flashbang. The information is known. The rotation is here. There's a crossfire for Fnatic already. Presence shown only from CT. That's a massive headshot from Falaka. But Veggie gets the one with the AK. 
that'll make the difference. Where can the bomb get planted? I suppose it could get planted for short. That's a disgusting peek with the Krieg. There's a trade drag up. Roland with the spray. Got to keep the bullets in the hole. He'll finish off the job. Getting shot in the head, no less, with the Krieg through the box. And the box will be his saving grace. Actually, he's he's gonna run to the to get the <laughs> 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 He's going to run back and he's not going to yeah, die. Yeah. But look, there's more straight lines on Mirage, okay? I forgot they closed the door. Permanently. Oh, he had time to defuse the bomb. <laughs> That's a once in a blue moon mistake from me. Enjoy it while it's fresh. Bam. Fresh after the press. <laughs> I felt so bad after that. Someone, you know someone's going to make a, a huge compilation and it's going to be like hype style but all the low lights. Someone actually made one of the highlights for once. Oh, well, that's nice. A while back. I was like, wow, someone out there actually understands. They, they care about me. All this mis misinformation, all these low percentage bad plays. Like the terrible ones. There are plenty of bad ones every day. But anyway, Fnatic are two rounds away from victory here on Mirage. Again, their percentages on every map are superior to that of Virtus Pro. Although it's just higher by six, seven percent. Sorry, on Mirage, sixty-seven to sixty. Virtus Pro with the AKs and the Kriegs. Again, they have two flashbacks left at this point. That's a lot of damage, but no kills. And ultimately, you need kills. JW's low, but JW is still JW. Even if low, flush of peaks window. A brazen play from him. JW hunting from Connector, and he'll get something out of it. And that is... Okay, we still have those two flashbangs for Versus Pro, so I think it's going to be about the dry peaks. There's one flash for Fnatic as well, so it's going to be a, a dry peak simulator. No lotion for miles. Oof. I've been liking how Fnatic is falling back after they get kills, making it really annoying for VP to get multiple um, kills at the same choke point. It's always making it harder, always making it more difficult. And it's just, it's destroying VP right now. Jungle smoke from the entrance to B apartments and they will start to push into B, but they are being waited on by Cribs. Criminally underrated oh, might wow. be what his uh, name stands for. What the hell was that? Flurry of frags to take it to match point. That's what it was. There's four of them alive, and then within like 500 milliseconds, everyone was dead. It's a brave new world, and Fnatic are beating again. I didn't realize. I thought they were going to lose the round. EG have come up in NA, and now we've got Fnatic. They have risen from the ashes. The oh, Lazarus no. Pits. Apparently, this gun that Flusher has is actually really underrated as well. I mean, for how much it cost 400 bullets. I think it's worth. All right, Flusher, what, what have you got? He's in the wrong place right now. Oh, he's got the M4 out. Oh, I see it was fair if they went for a set piece on A, but enough about that. Golden here doing the damage already with the AK, gets traded out. Flusher with that M4, fresh off the spawn, will be eliminated as well. And it's not looking too bad here for VP, although in the chaos, Crims will make his way up. This is an important 1v1. Oh, down to one HP. He was so close. If he picks up that kill, Fnatic can start to overwhelm the bomb site, but now things are looking very difficult instead because Brolan and JW are locked in markets. Oopsies. Was that the intention? <laughs> I don't think so. I think maybe it was supposed to be a right left click to go into the corner. But, oh, that's a fast one from JW, and a oh. team kill is absolutely worth it. What a way to finish <laughs> off the job. Kill JW is the last frag of the game, and it's GG from Fnatic. And these highlights are brought wow. to you by NVIDIA. Well, well, well. What a performance from Fnatic. Congratulations, they've made it. They have qualified for the ECS Season 8 Finals in Arlington, Texas. And that will be not too <laughs> far away in the distant future, James. I'm having a seizure. Congratulations, the C Swedes are in. The Seeds are in, the Swedes are in. Fnatic will make it to the final. That is a huge name to make it. They're looking fantastic at the moment. And they most certainly did here. They went into overpass as a heavy favorite. Pinnacle sort of numbers.
and uh, they gave big odds to versus pro but it wasn't a day for versus pro again we saw a lot of brittle setups on their ct side early picks dangerous plays made and uh, a lot of them didn't go their way and then Fnatic just ran a train on them after that Fnatic looks so good as a team always peaking and then falling back as a team it just it just looked too good and i mean i you know, say that maybe Fnatic could be one of the best teams in Europe right now. It's safe to say that. Absolutely. In, a, in the vacuum of the recent weeks, they are looking pretty monstrous. And again, the, the two match setups from the team, the synergy in the mid game and the late game, which is where it's more clear, I think, um, how much synergy you have overall looks great from Fnatic. We saw awesome plays from them, double picks all over the place. Just just really well. They made they made everything as hard as possible. And when you've got a player like F uh, Flush on a team who is such a jewel in the crown for Fnatic, it, it just a, it's a spectacle. He's you so good sit at back lurking. And watch. He's so good at lurking. He is very learn good to watch his demos, at please. what he does. I want to watch some of his demos as well. I learned a lot about Cash watching his CT demos and I will have to catch up with his current plays. And here is the bracket. Fnatic make it all the way through. Not dropping a map versus Big Trick or versus Pro. Versus Pro, I think the performance in that final was disappointing. They have looked like they have been improving. Um, the better team won this week, but uh, I think they could have done more in this game. And there's the prize money this week for Europe. And overall, as well, Fnatic up there with the $15,000. Now they get to play for the lion's share of the cash in Arlington, Texas. Again, if you can make it, then please do. ECS.facer.com is where you can find yourself some tickets. If you can make it to the finals, we would love to have you there. And that brings our final week of Europe to a close in about one hour. We are going to be heading towards North America just before the top of the hour. But before we go, we have the X Factor, the HyperX X Factor play of the game. What's it going to be? It's yeah. almost always a complete mystery to me. Ah, so casual. It's a bit of pistol. I mean, this started off a half in which Fnatic didn't concede a single CT round, right? Did they concede a single CT round? Sure, like, they got a couple. Maybe one. Either way, JW is going in, hunting, hunting him down. And a nice little pop right at the end. And honestly, like, it's it was such a the, the synergy. I think that's, just, that's like the operating word for sure. I think you nailed it in the commentary earlier, James. Really satisfying to watch them play. Because the other thing that's cool about Fnatic is no one ever, no one has ever really played CS quite like them. The way that they play mid-round situations and stuff, and the pull and the push, and uh, the fact that they're all dialed in, they all like get it, is amazing to watch. Well, since we have an hour, get on the servers. I'm going to run to my PC, get on the servers as well. So uh, look at the cups uh, for ECS on the Facer app. Put in ECS into your search bar and find the organizer page. There are cups to play and there are points and prizes to be given away. So get involved and we will see you in about an hour for the North American final in week five of ECS season eight. We will see you soon.